All right, time for the latest update in H3VR, and guess what? We've got ourselves our first muzzle loader, a uh, flintlock. Ooh. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. All right, cool. Let's play around with this stuff, but first, let me just see. Uh, we got here. Got some extra flints here. Unlock that. Uh, we've got a shot. And we've got some of these things that I cannot seem to pick up for some reason. There we go. And uh, got our little powder bag or powder horn. Not really a horn, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> Just take that off. Okay. Let's take a look at this model. It's really nice. Look at that. Ooh wee. A little uh, little, uh whatchamacallit. <laughs> oh wow. Now I'm trying to remember what exactly the process was to load one of these. So um, there are two ways to do it. First up. Let's go with the easy way. Let me just, uh, oops. there we go. Put that like that on half cock. That's the cock or the hammer, whatever you want to call it. This is the frizzin. Makes all the sparks. You got the flash pan right there. You can see that. That's where you put the powder so that the sparks can catch it and shoot out the thing. Uh, we've got our powder charge here that. Uh, looks pretty cool. We gotta bite it. And that's, uh, I think, how many was it? Was it five grains? One, two, three, four, five. And then we got to, oh, wait. Uh, if I tilt this, will it fall out? Hopefully it won't. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's fine. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot. All right, now we just gotta tamp it down. Doing that. Until it's all the way down. And we'll put the uh, right there. I completely forgot what this is called. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just can't remember. And uh, oh, let's try it out. Oh, before we do. Oops. Hopefully the powder stayed there. Yeah. Okay. Let me just uh, spawn the options panel here. And let's do some bullet trails so I can see what I'm doing. All right, full cock. And, oh, I forgot to the uh, to put the, the uh, prison down. That actually, yeah, I think that's one of the steps. You put it down so that the powder doesn't fall out, but let's just see. Okay. All right. Pretty cool. All right, let's try that again. But this time, let's do it with more efficiency. All right, so five taps here. Four, five, I think that's five. <laughs> and I'm not sure, oh, just put that down for right now. Lock that into place. So now I can do this. And dump that all in there. Casing in. Hmm. 
Okay, no, that's all the way down. All right. All right. I think I've got it. Switch hands again. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a... Well, I, I'd really need to get used to it first, but that is not that bad of a process once you understand the steps. So basically, half cock, pour your powder inside the flash pan, put this down, then you uh, pour all the remaining powder into the barrel, into the breech, sorry. You stick that thing in there, and then you tamp it down with the... Um, Goodness, I can't believe I forgot what it's called. <laughs> but yeah, should be it. Now let's try it with just the uh, little uh, powder bag here. And shot ball. All right, so same kind of process. Two, three, four, five. And then... This one down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It'd be nice if we had a little measuring tool. You know, uh, I remember someone firing off once before. They did a little demonstration at my, uh, oops, my school once. It was loud, don't worry about it, but yeah, he had a little, uh, whatchamacallit, oh, I can't remember what it's called, a little gunpowder, or black powder measuring thing. There we go. Nice even strokes. <laughs> Put that down. I think we're ready to go. All right, that's a simple process. Seemed to work, hopefully. Now let's try doing some crazy stuff with this. All right, so, oh yeah, the flint can actually be worn down. So if you take that out, replace that, put a new one in there, tighten that back on, there you go. All right, so let's do some, some crazy stuff here. Uh, Anton already uh, did the double load method is do that that all the way up stay there please all right so tear that open one two let's just do two this time because uh let's pour out all the powder there let's pull out more powder here Hopefully the audio is recording. <laughs> I forgot to check. And then, let's put, oh, well, let's put one of them first. Okay. Oh. It's really hard to, not recommended to do, but you can look down the barrel, the breech if you want. Okay, and let's put this one inside as well. Let's double load this baby. I think that's as far as I can go there. Put this back, and I think that was two. Uh, Going to make sure the barrel is clear. Yep, it is. All right. So we've done that already. Anton's already done that. What I wanted to know is, is the black powder, you know, flammable? Can we use other sources of heat to... Actually, hold on. Let me just change something here. Simulation options. Realistic. There we go. So can we use the light, for example, lighter here? To set this off. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, that. 
is pretty flammable. The powder bag certainly is. I need to spawn another one. Hold on, let's go to muzzle loading. That black powder bag. Now let's do this. Black powder doesn't seem to be flammable. That's okay. That's fine. Is the bag just like... Oh, it does. Okay. Let me spawn another one of these babies. <laughs> Go through all these black powder bags. Actually, hold on. Can I just make sure I'm recording properly? Okay. Hopefully that's recording. Yeah. All right. So, doing a little experiments. Got to make sure that uh, it's being documented, right? <laughs> So is this flammable? Oh, yes it is. It's very flammable. <laughs> okay. Now, will this work? I just want to see. Just dump as much powder as we can into that flash pan. Oh, goodness. Uh, all right. That works. Maybe I'm not holding the, uh... Took a while for that gunpowder to... Hmm. Well, maybe it just works in there. So you can actually dump powder in here. I <laughs> dumped a lot. Oops. And then you can use the light from a Zippo, or Flipzo, or a match to set it off. Nice. I just had to let go or get away from there. Uh, one more thing I want to try. Let's dump a bunch of powder there. Will a, the muzzle flash uh, from the gun. Uh, I don't think so, but I mean, that's okay. You know, not everything can be simulated, but I mean, this is, this is complex enough. You know, you, you, you try to do that with this, oh man, I think you'd have to probably write like a whole nother game for that, but this is pretty cool. Come on. Oh, so that, that's possible. Let's just, uh, load this up. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Stick a ball in here. Let's tamp this down. Even strokes, even strokes. There we go. All right, now we're going to put some powder. Five. Lock that. Okay. Uh, well, you can't really aim it like this, but... <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, I love that. Let's close this thing before we have any other unfortunate accidents. All right. So now I know what someone might be thinking. What if we just pack this thing entirely full of powder? And you know what? Let's do it. We'll, we'll use the uh, powder horn or sorry, the uh, powder bag, and we'll just dump a whole bunch of powder in here. Empty. A lot of powder. A lot of powder. Just going to stick a lot of powder in here. This is more than the recommended dose of powder. Just going to keep going. I think that's enough powder, though. A little more. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. All right. I'll look down the barrel here, see if... Oh, my goodness. That doesn't give me that much uh, <laughs> room. I think that's about, like, up to here. here. Actually, can we... Let me just see if we can...
How much powder can we theoretically put in this thing? Whoops. Oh, it's filling up. Going to the top. Oh, my hands are shaking. Oh, there we go. There, that's enough. Now we gotta, we gotta pack this down. <laughs> that's as far as it'll go. Okay. I wonder if, if we tilt the gun, will the powder fall? Oh, the powder will fall out. Oh, man. Maybe we'll just we'll take some powder out and then we'll stick a charge in here. There we go. That's as far as the powder will go. No, and again, not recommended to look down the breech of a gun. But that's as far as it goes. Hope you can see that. Let's just try to tamp this down. It's not going any farther. Okay. Put this back. And let's just stick a whole bunch of powder on this. There we go. We're going overkill today. Put the frizzin down. And I don't know what's going to happen. I wanted to ask Anton what happens if you just load it up full of powder, but then he said there's some secret stuff in here too, so... You know, we have to find out on our own, right? Let's uh, get a little bit farther back so we can see what the result is. And the gun is broken. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's pretty unusable. I can't really fire anything off that. Hey, the trigger still works, though. <laughs> Look at that. All you need is another... Uh, you know, upper part. But the trigger still works. Oh, that is cool. So there is a, uh, there is a limit. You can effectively break the gun, which introduces a failure state, which is really cool. Although, you know, it's only probably for this. It's, it makes more sense that way, you know. Because you can eyeball the amount of powder you want to put into one of these guns. Um, oh yeah, if you press the trigger, you can do like individual grains. I don't know if I told you guys that, but yeah. So let's try like, how about we do, how about we undercharge this thing? So we'll just do the lowest amount that we can possibly do and see if that will work. So we'll just do one grain. <laughs> one grain. Stick the ball in there. Tamp it down. Even strokes. I think that it is as far as it'll go. Nope, it'll keep going. There we go. All right, we're going to, again, not recommended. Check down the breech. Ball's down there. Half cock. We will do one. Oops. One grain of black powder on the flash pan. Just try to make it as low as possible. We're trying to conserve, you know, survival situation. You might not have enough black powder. Put the frizzing down. Cock the cock all the way. <laughs> I don't think this is going to fire, but we'll see. Oh, nope. I didn't see a bullet trail, so that means the bullet is stuck inside. Oh, no. Can we do about this? Is there anything we can do? Oh, this is terrible. This is not going to work, but I'm just going to do it anyways. Press them back down. No, the gun is effectively broken. Just dump all that powder out. That didn't really work. Okay. So now the gun is... Not usable at all. Throw that away. Let's load up another one. What am I stepping on here? Oh, sorry. Something in my real world space. Okay. Let's see. What else can I do? Let's do... Let's do this. Hold on. Oh. oh I hit my headset <laughs> with my controller. One... Yeah, let's do one. And then, uh, just put that there for right now. Dump the rest of this powder in. 
Oop. There we go. Tamp this down. Even strokes. Oh goodness, what happened to my... Okay. Now, do you really need to open this thing up or can you just put it on there? Oops, no, 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 don't leave me. This thing there. What happens if I just stick this in there? Will it work? That will, sort of. Just tamp this down. You know. Use the ramrod. Is that is that what it's called? Alright, I think it's in there. Let's see if we get to uh, two shots. Okay. That seemed to have worked. Sort of. Hmm. How many can I put in there, though? Let's, uh, do this again. Oh, too much. And for this time, I'm just going to open it up. Oh, no. I completely forgot to tamp this down. <laughs> Even strokes, I'm just ramming this stuff in there. Okay. Gonna... Okay. Yeah, you know, this thing rolls around. I need to put it back in its holder. Open it up. All right. Let's see how many we can stuff in here before this thing blows up on us. Let me just check down the breach here. Okay, we can still put a little couple more. It's really nice that it actually simulates, if you look down, powder. So, just uh, tamping this stuff down. I'm looking again. Okay, we can input a more, we can put more stuff in here. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Oh man, this is terrible. Okay, we can we can put more. Stick this uh, black powder in there. This one again. Ram this thing down. Oh, I think we can still put some more in there. Hold on. I'm going to go all out. Come on. Oh, we're getting close. Alright, I think we can put one more in there. Depth perception is kind of hard when you're closing one eye. Let's just... This one in there. I think this is as far as it can go. But we can actually put one more. One more. I don't know how many of these are in there, but... They seem to be fitting pretty nicely. Down. Oh, yeah. We can put maybe one more thing, I think. Get that powder in there. Oh, no, nope, no more. All right, that's about it, I guess. I can't really do much with that. Throw that away. Okay. <sighs> I want to see how many things come out, or maybe the gun will explode. Who knows? We'll just see. All right, I'm going to fire it. Oh, the gun exploded, but it did throw out all those uh, 
there was a shot. He was like five things. I don't know. I couldn't tell. The gun is pretty much destroyed. So that is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, there are probably other things that I haven't done that somebody else will do. But uh, overall, this is a pretty cool weapon. It, it it's it's pretty hard to load. It's pretty time consuming. A lot of energy goes into it, but uh, it is very satisfying. This one does not have any powder, so I'm just going to two, three, four, five. And then, oh, close the prison. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Just on the safe side. I think that's what Anton said that these uh, cartridge, or sorry, these, um, these packs contain like 20 grams or something. I don't know. I'm not too sure about the measurements. But he did 20 in the video, so I'm doing 20 here. Tamping this down all the way down. Put this big. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You could also leave that in and use that as a projectile if you wanted to. Anton showed that off in the devlog. But, uh, well, you know, you've seen it already. Not really that impressive. But we're still going to do it because it's fun. So we'll just shoot this thing off. And I do not know what happened to the... Hmm. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, wait. Did it just fall through the ground? Oh, no. Oh, well. well I mean, you know, you probably can't fire this thing. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, no, that's the flint probably can't fire this thing. Oh, maybe you can. Let's see if we can we can do something about this. Oops. Uh, this might work. This might not. But let's one, two, three, four, five. Since I can't tamp it down. No, I can't I can't push the uh the pack in there. <laughs> It still works. I well, it might be a little bit less powerful since it's not, you know, inside the, uh, you know, the uh, the shot is not inside the barrel, pushing it. But, hmm. All right, that is really cool. This is really cool. Let me just uh, Oh yeah, you can also swipe your controller across to uh, to hit the uh, prison down for quicker, I don't know, loading, I guess. But I, I want to see actually replacing the flint. It's all random. Uh, I think that's what Anton said in the video. How many strikes you can have with the uh, flint here. Whoops. I think that was it. Yep. Flint is effectively worn out. Let's compare. Yeah, this one's a little uh, shorter. Let's get rid of that. That one on there. What if you leave it like that? I don't know. You can still leave it like that, I guess. All right. Oh man, somebody will probably load like 15 of these uh, little shot lead balls into the uh, the gun or something. Um, I could do that, but there's some other stuff I want to check out too before I stop this video. So let's go back to the main menu. Actually, I'm going to pause the video here. Oh, hey, there's my broken. <laughs> yeah. Let me pause the video here, and uh, I'll see you at the Kappa Coliseum. All right, back at the cop, the Kappa, Kappa, Kappa Coliseum, Kappa 
Copper Coliseum, Copper Coliseum, whatever, whatever it's called. Uh, before I get into the new job that the Gronch has dropped for us, let me just show you the gun hats. There's 69 in total. Uh, did a lot of, uh, you know, stuff to unlock them all, but here they are. And uh, I especially like the... Where is it? It's in here somewhere. Uh, sorry, I'm going to let you look at these in a minute. I just need to find it. Where is it? There's 69 of these, so it's... Uh, was that? Uh, nope, that's not it. I'm going to find it. Oh, man. Uh, hold on. Wait a minute. Trying to look at each one. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, this one. I like this one. Combat cap. It looks similar to a hat that I have. But, <laughs> yeah, there they are. Oh, sorry, it was the military cap. No, 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 it's this one. Basic, you can buy them off of, like, Amazon for, like, $3 or something. <laughs> it's, it's really cheap, but, hey, and I have one of those. Uh, got, uh, one of them Saucic Helmets, Yukon Hat. They're all, you know, they're all spawnable. Uh, they're all, uh, gettable if you, uh, just spawn them using the loot boxes and stuff. Uh, there's, you know, yeah, so. Uh, you know, if you wanted to see what the hats look like, uh, there are better posts out there, but I'll just, you know. This is page three. Engineer Hat, Meat Fortress. Bowler hat, nice. Nice looking one. Uh, let's see. Goalie mask. Oh, Jason Voorhees for you. If you want. <laughs> uh, ooh, elf hat. The armet. Scout hat is pretty cool. Fisher wiener. Got a fishing cap. Boater, boater hat. Oh, the propeller cap is pretty cool. Little propeller spins. You didn't know that. Throw one of those away. <laughs> but yeah. Good stuff, you know? Alright, so let's check out this uh, latest job that we got from the Gronch. It's called Turret Testing. $7.80 Grinch dollar money per hour. Okay. Oh no. What does this do? Oh, are we supposed to... Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am in trouble. Can we grab these things? Oh, no, we can't. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no, this is bad. I don't know what we're supposed to do. I didn't read the instructions. Okay, hold on. Okay. I'm not so sure what I'm supposed to do there, but I think I can make it easier on myself. Let's grab a... Nope, sorry. Um... Where are the shields here? Are there shields? Where are the shields? I don't know where the shields are. Oh, here it is. I have a ballistic shield. Oh, no. And, of course, we'll need some weapons. So, let us grab a... Assault rifle. Something that's easy to reload. This right there. Got a drum mag. Can I put this drum mag there? Go full auto on this baby. And I will need a laser so I won't have to aim. Let's grab ourselves the tactical laser too. 
I don't need to put a suppressor on this thing because, you know, <laughs> why would you? Okay, this thing is ready and loaded. Oh, where's my shield? Oh no, what's going on? What's going on? Oh no. This is actually pretty terrible. Maybe I should have uh, gotten a smaller weapon. Oh. Time to promotion. Huh. Oh no. Oh, I'm supposed to die for the promotion. Okay. I see. That's why it's called turret testing. Okay, got promoted. All right, I'm. I see what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I'm blind. So I guess you're supposed to push the buttons, but if you want to get promoted, you gotta actually take damage. Oh goodness. I died. Okay, I died. Oh my goodness. I think it's just too much. Oh man. Wow. Well, I'm racking up the promotions. I died. <laughs> Alright, that was... Very, very confusing, but, uh, you know, it's a good way to earn some money, so hey, that's cool, I guess, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you're supposed to die so you can get promoted, but I think you ha actually have to press the buttons to get rid of the turrets and keep yourself uh, hired, which is, uh, pretty hard. But yeah, I don't know how anyone is going to uh, you you know use that to exploit the system and grab more uh, crates, uh, which I don't really need to do since I got it. But then, don't tell anybody. Shh. <laughs> there were some exploits in the in the first uh, first game, first uh, job that you could do to get a ton of money. And there's also I think there's. Uh, you can actually play Battle Petite. I forgot which mode it was, but basically you go into Battle Petite and then just like shoot yourself, die, and then you get a crate and then you can go back here, do it all over and over and over again until you can get like, I don't know, 20 or 30 crates. But uh, yeah. And you know, Anton doesn't have a problem with that. People exploiting the game because I mean this stuff is pretty much terrible and it's like a satire so go ahead you know exploit as much as you can doing the Grunch's jobs oh it's always fun <laughs> but yeah that's the update for today the awesome flintlock uh, muzzle loader has been implemented, and so you know you can 
you can see where that's going. Probably going to be some cool weapons in the future that Anton has uh, hinted at, which is going to be really awesome. And a uh, new job that, you know, whatever, it's soul crushing and makes you want to die inside. But yeah, that's about it for today's update. I can't wait for next week to see what uh, Anton's got in store for us. Uh, I think it was, uh, no, no, no. It's the, the week after next is the Meat Fortress update. So that'll be cool to see as well. Anyways, that's about it for today. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.